Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Madison Avenue Christian Church. It's good to be with you this morning. If you are visiting with us, we ask that you fill out the perforated part of the bulletin and place it in the offering plate so we can get to know you a little better. And if you are worshiping with us online, feel free to send us a message and say hello. Special music this morning will be provided by Paige Weeks, and her husband Dan will be joining her on violin. And we thank them for sharing their musical gifts with us this morning. A reminder to mark your calendars for the celebration of life service and reception in memory of Jihan Park on Saturday, July 10th at 1 p.m. here in the sanctuary. The closing hymn today will be accompanied by Dan Weeks on guitar. And as you can see behind me, the decorative facade pipes are gone. The good news is all 33 pipes have been sponsored for cleaning and painting. With that being said, as mentioned in the weekly email, the Oregon project is currently over budget due to unexpected electrical issues. Sign up sheets are still in Fellowship Hall for anyone who is interested in making a donation towards the remaining balance of the Oregon restoration project. And we thank all who have contributed so far and we so appreciate your generosity. And with that, let us enter into worship together. Jesus said, whatever you ask in my name, I will grant it unto you. Let us pray. God who is giving that has no ending. There are times we ask you because we think we cannot do without some things. Often we ask you because we are anxious, afraid. We often ask you because having more is what we desire. We ask you because we think that greater and bigger is better. So today we come in your presence asking that you will grant us wisdom. Wisdom that passeth all understanding. Wisdom so that we can come in your presence and be still and ask that you will plant in each and every one of us seeds of hope, peace, goodwill, strength, courage, good health. So as we pause and as we come before you, we pray that you'll touch 
each and every one of us in a special way. You are the one before whom no secret is hid. So we know that you know our desires. Speak to us, O Lord. Grant us your peace at this time. In this world that is so divided, may we be agents of your peace. In a world there, where there is so much need that goes unheard, we pray that we would be your kingdom builders on this earth. In a world where people cry in silence, we pray that we would be people of comfort. In a world there is so much hunger and homelessness, may we be those who would feed and provide shelter. So we dedicate ourselves to be a blessed people who would be a blessing to others. Our personal prayers we offer, knowing that you indeed care for us and you would hold us in the palm of your hands. We pray for Madison Avenue Christian Church. Continue to be our guide. For those who are in hospitals, people who are recovering at home, we pray at this time. Grant them healing. Continue to be with us throughout this worship service. Hear us even now as we join in the prayer that you taught us saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come <clears throat> on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. The scripture this morning is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 4 verses 24, 26 through 34. He also said, the kingdom of God is as if someone would scatter seed on the ground and would sleep and rise night and day. And the seed would sprout and grow. He does not know how. The earth produces of itself, first the stalk, then the head, then the full grain in the head. But when the grain is ripe, at once he goes in with his sickle, because the harvest has come. He also said, with what can we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable will we use for it? It is like a mustard seed, which when sown upon the ground is the smallest of all the seeds on earth. Yet when it is sown, it grows up and becomes the greatest of all shrubs and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the air can make nests in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them 
as they were able to hear it. He did not speak to them except in parables, but he explained everything in private to his disciples. This is the reading of the Lord.
Thank you, Paige. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Brad. Appreciate this. <coughs> parable of the mustard seed. It's not often that the image of the parable and the size of the parable fits. But in this time it does. It's one of those short parables and it talks about the mustard seed. So you would think that the sermon would be short too, right? Not. It will always be the long one. When Jesus talks about this parable, <clears throat> there are people sitting there from Henry County scratching their head and wondering, we come from a farming community, what you're saying doesn't add up. Why? This is what Jesus says. <clears throat> it's about this farmer who scatters seed and goes to bed and wakes up and then when the time comes he just gets in his combine and goes and does the harvest he didn't have to do anything he was just sleeping and getting up and sleeping and getting up until it was combine time to do the harvest and there was plenty of harvest and all the good farmers from Henry County are sitting there going, that's not how it works. Either he doesn't know what he's talking about or he's missing something. Because, granted, it takes a lot of faith to drop a seed and think that there is life in that seed that will grow. But it is not true that the farmer just goes to sleep and gets up and goes to sleep and gets up. And then one fine day, there's this big harvest. No! A farmer does a lot between then and harvest time. What is Jesus talking about? Well, you and I will have to come to terms with what Jesus is talking about. If we are going to be in the kingdom business, we need to come to terms with what Jesus is talking about. If we are going to find the joy that only Christ can place in our hearts, and we can experience the joy of spreading joy in this world. So Jesus says this, and so is the work of the kingdom. It is about the small mustard seed. It does not have to be a big some other seed. It does not have to be a big anything. It is about the mustard seed. That's all it takes. And you wonder why? We live in a gigabyte world and even when I was doing that I knew that there is a terabyte that's bigger I'm glad Charlie Bowen is not here today he laughed for me to talk about gigabyte and terabyte and any other byte because the first thing that happens when my computer screen even starts to blink I say Charlie I'm having trouble me and the Antichrist, we don't get along. <laughs> but that is where we live. It has to be bigger. It has to be greater. It has to be more powerful. It has to be exaggerated in order for us to think anything good can come off of it. But Jesus says it is that mustard seed. And you wonder how in both the parable, in both the sayings, there is an issue there. One is about a farmer who just plants a seed and goes to bed. The other one is about the mustard seed on which the growth and the prosperity and the goodness of the kingdom rests. What is Jesus talking about? 
Jesus is talking about you and I people who have dedicated ourselves to the kingdom business and Jesus is trying to tell us in you in each and every one of you I have placed the kingdom seed why because it is not dependent on us for the kingdom work to be done all we have to do is to be the ones who would sow the seed and even that seed is not our own it is not of our own creation it is not of our own making it is not it does not have anything to do with us all we have to be is the willing person to sow the kingdom seed in this world it is God's gift in each and every one of us. Madison Avenue Christian Church, if we ever thought we can devise all the things we need to in order for God's kingdom to blossom on this earth and the joy of the kingdom of God to spread on this earth, and more and more people would find God's blessings on this earth think again it is not ours all we have to be is willing people eager people of faith constantly planting the seed and the seed is not ours the seed belongs to God that is why the mustard seed example is so important it is just a speck. We always think, I am just, you know, who am I? We're just a small church. We're just this, we're just that. What can we do? And to silence that is when Jesus says, it's not you. In you, I have placed it. Every time you get an opportunity to be that witness, to be the one who would promote God's kingdom on this earth to spread the good news of Jesus Christ on this earth to be there for someone in need to wipe the tears of someone who is crying alone to feed someone who is hungry to show acceptance to someone who's been rejected to remind this world about God's awesome power. If you're wondering how, all you have to do is to take the next step to plant the seed that God has already placed in you. And the outcome, and the outcome is surprise. Surprise, because God orchestrates the rest. The harvest is mine, saith the Lord. What comes in terms of the outcome of the kingdom work belongs to God. It is not yours. I don't know about you, but those of us who are constantly engaged in building God's kingdom on this earth, those of us who take steps in faith knowing that thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven is a business that we initiate because God has already initiated in us the seed that produces the kingdom. And if you are wondering, how can we do that? The hunger in our community is so great. What can Madison Avenue Christian Church do? The need and the brokenness in our community is enormous. What can we do? Oh, always there is that story. Never before have we been more divided than we are now. Well, that has been said since the Garden of Eden. Oh, we have been divided before too. But those of us who would stand there with like a deer caught in a headlight and say, I'm not going to do anything because it is so big. The problem is so big. It's mammoth. What can I do? 
think again because in you has been placed that mustard seed that can bring about reconciliation all you have to do is to take a step in faith and be that agent of peace of Christ on this earth mustard seed people in a gigabyte world mustard seed people I don't know about you but those of us who are constantly engaged in the kingdom work we forget to see the outcome of the kingdom we do not sit back and cherish all the goodness that has come out of the small efforts that we make and there's nothing small about it because that effort has been funded by the power of Christ that has already been placed in you Oh, sometimes it's exhausting to be in the kingdom business. Sometimes it's exhausting to even think that we can make a difference in this world. But people of faith should also take the time to sit back and cherish all the goodness that has happened by God choosing you and using you as an agent of Christ in this world. That is what Jesus is talking about. That little mustard seed, it grows into a tree. Oh yeah? Then what? Well, birds come and sit on it. And they sing songs. And everybody around gets to enjoy it. It is so beautiful. Kingdom people. Mustard seed people. The need is gigabyte. The call is you. The seed that God has placed in you is what you intend to plant. Are you taking time to stand in awe and go, I'll be bleep. I'll be bleep. I don't believe through that little effort such great things are happening. I don't believe that so much difference is happening through Madison Avenue Christian Church. I don't believe there are people who get in their cars and drive to work which they could not before because of Madison Avenue Christian Church. Mustard seed. The need is gigabyte. What God does is what God will do. All we have to do is keep planting that seed that Christ has placed in you. It's a gift of grace. It is sharing with joy. It is acting with faith. And it is sitting back and laughing with joy because God has done great things through you. To God be honor, power, glory, and majesty now and forevermore. Amen.
may be seated. Please pray with me as we dedicate our gifts. Dear loving God, we first give you thanks for the abundant gifts you have so graciously bestowed upon us. And in gratitude and with joyful hearts, we come to you with our gifts of time, talent, and treasure, which may seem small individually, much like the mustard seed, but collectively we know that through you, our gifts will grow like large branches reaching out to those in need, to those who live in fear, and to those who live in pain. Help us to grow in faith and to continue our commitment in building a closer relationship with you. We pray that you use us and our gifts, that your presence will be known through us, and that your love will be felt by many. These things we ask as we dedicate these gifts in your son's name. Amen. We are about to partake in the elements that represent the broken body of Christ and the cup that we share. Yeah, the kingdom work produces abundant results. The outcome is huge. The lives that are touched, sometimes you won't even know how how many were. There's so much joy to be had. There is so much joy to be shared. We always think we are making a difference in others. We are creating happiness and better lives for others. What we fail to recognize or we need to recognize more is how much it does for you, the giver. We're always thinking about it outside ourselves. It is important that people of faith pause and say, through me, through us, all this happened to stand in awe. But before we get that far, something else has to happen. God has to choose you. 
look at the longing of your heart then God has to place that seed in you trusting that you're gonna plant that seed somewhere and you're gonna be blessed and you're gonna be a blessing much of it depends on God choosing you and placing that seed much of it depends on the God who's chosen Madison Avenue Christian Church for over a hundred years and placed seed after seed after seed knowing that we are faithful people and we would just continue to the, sow the seed knowing that the harvest belongs to God and usually the harvest is a gigabyte harvest much depends on you asking and God placing today I urge you as an individual and we as a church to come before God's presence as we come to this table and say I am willing to be your servant person who will sow kingdom seeds every opportunity I get but before that happens God choose me place that seed in me and may I have the joy of seeing the birds of the sky sitting on the tree of kingdom that grows and may I hear the music of joy and find joy. The gifts of God for the people of God. Amen. John 6:35 Jesus declared I am the bread of life and all who come to me will never go hungry all who believe in me will never be thirsty all are welcome here at this table Jesus is the one who invites us to the table can you imagine no more hunger and no more thirst satisfied these symbols of eating bread and drinking wine mean come and believe. Come, come to me, come and lay down your worries, come and worship, come and rest in my presence. Believe, believe I am the Christ. Believe I am with you always. 
Believe all things are possible with me. Let us pray. Lord, as we remember Christ, we remember you at this table. We remember that life with you means no more hunger and no more thirst. Be with us as we seek the bread of life to be satisfied. Let's prepare our hearts and our minds to receive you. Amen. Now hear the words of institution as written in the Gospel of Mark. While they were eating, he took a loaf of bread, and after blessing it, he broke it, gave it to them, and said, Take, this is my body. Then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he gave it to them, and all of them drank from it. He said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. Truly I tell you, I will never again drink of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Let us drink together. Funga alafia, ashe, ashe, is an African American folk song, which means welcome. So we would like to welcome anyone who would like to join with us in this church family, to become a part of the family, and you can come forward during the singing of our invitation hymn, number 477 or you can meet with Simon or one of the elders privately at another time. Um, the song also means we welcome you with our heads, our minds. We welcome you with our voices. We welcome you with our hearts. It's a song that I teach all the world percussion kids. And so we welcome you today, should you decide to come forward during the singing of this hymn.
Now go in peace, you saints of the church. May God continue to bless you and make your blessing in this world. Amen.